Well, hey guys, I'm really excited because the holiday season is upon us. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my 2022 Amazon holiday gift guide. These are all items that I personally use in my everyday life. Majority of things in this video are skincare related. The majority are also roughly $30 and under. So relatively affordable. If you've ever watched one of my holiday gift guides, I am someone who favors practicality. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, I talk about moisturizing gloves a lot on my channel when it comes to dry hands. The idea is that you put on a petrolon of ointment onto your hands, like ideally at nighttime after you've gotten out of the shower, and you cover with white cotton gloves. White meaning it's free of dyes, which for some people can be irritating the hands. And then cotton, it's breathable, but importantly, it traps that ointment onto the skin and really helps if you're dealing with hand dermatitis. Definitely check out my videos on hand dermatitis. We go over common triggers, but the moisturizing glove approach can really help you out. If you know somebody who works with their hands a lot, like food handling or maybe a hairdresser, they're really prone to hand dermatitis. Maybe somebody in healthcare, like a nurse, washing their hands frequently. These are a saving grace. This particular brand, Gax Koo, I, I actually use these pretty much every night. I love that they're washable. You get three in this box, but it also comes with a little mesh bag. I have a ton of these mesh bags for laundry, so I've never ended up using the one that comes with it. They have a little elastic here, so they stay on. You can wash them, you can reuse them. And y'all know my favorite petrolatum ointment is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. This is what I use. I put this on my hands and I cover with the cotton gloves. And I, you can hang out that way for a few hours. Sometimes I sleep that way though. It really makes the hands soft, hydrated. Anyone can do this, but it's especially helpful if you have dry cracked fingers or hand dermatitis. Petrolatum, it has, also has hyaluronic acid and ceramides. Now, of course you could use plain petrolatum like Vaseline ointment, that works well too. For the three pairs of gloves, it's $14.95. One of my tips for preventing dry cracked heels is to not go barefoot. Having good quality socks that are comfortable, breathable is a game changer. You can do the the, um, moisturizing glove approach with socks to your feet as well. Slather them with an ointment and put on some socks. I have to give a shout out to these socks that I've been purchasing. The brand is Balega. These are so comfortable. Very, very, very high quality. I, I actually wear these, you know, I run every day pretty much. I walk a lot. I'm really rough on socks. This is a brand new pair, but they don't wear out. They don't get holes in them. They last a long time, super comfortable. They have like a little bit of, I don't know, is this called ruching here over the arch of the foot for a little bit of extra support. They don't get floppy. They stay on your feet. They're not too tight. They're super comfortable, but they stay on well. If you sleep in socks, like I do, these don't slip off. I hate it if socks slip off while you're sleeping. I love these. They make a great gift. Socks are a very practical holiday gift. I mean, it's a common thing to stuff stockings with socks as a gift. These are really good. I mean, they just kind of take the idea of giving socks as a gift for Christmas to a whole other level because they are so good. They are really good quality. They are on the pricier side. I mean, one pair of socks is like $14.41. For the makeup wearer in your life who uses makeup brushes. Makeup brushes, if you don't clean them frequently, they can harbor bacteria and that can actually aggravate acne. It can lead to skin problems. And worst case scenario, it can put you at risk for little skin infections, especially around the eyes. So make sure you're cleaning your makeup brushes regularly. This year, I've gotten into makeup more, and I discovered this little gizmo. It plugs in to a USB charging port, and it has these little grippies in it, and it spins around. So you fill the basin with water and brush cleaner. It works really well, super fast, and then I just lay the makeup brushes out on a clean towel, flat. So this has been amazing. It is $22. It'll encourage people to stay consistent with washing their brushes. Especially if you have a teenager, sometimes they need a little bit of nudging to, to keep up with things like that. Uh, this is a makeup brush cleaner that I've been using. I love it. It's by Echo Tools. This bottle is $5.99. I'm sure you can use other things out there, but I have found that this works really well. 
You can also use it on the sponges and you only need like a few drops. So this bottle will last a very long time. Free of fragrance or anything that would be irritating to your skin. Although of course you're gonna rinse everything out of the brushes, but it works real, really well. And it rinses out of the brush as well. It doesn't leave behind a residue on the brush. This is a little something that I personally adore and love receiving because it is so amazing. It is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment with Hyaluronic Acid. This is really nice, hands down down a hundred times better in my humble opinion than that Laneige sleep mask. It works really well. My main gripe with it is I don't care for the packaging. It's a little compact. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. I need to repurchase another one, but it really keeps the lips hydrated and it reduces chap lips. There's no added fragrance or flavorance, which commonly can be found in lip products and end up leading to irritation. Who doesn't like to receive lip products? This is a product that I discovered this year and love. So it's a shampoo massager, and this has been huge for me. I didn't even know I needed this until I started using it. You put a little bit of the shampoo on this, and then it helps distribute it all over your scalp. It helps dislodge uh, scalp buildup because it's got these gentle little nubbins, if you will. It's nice for massaging, and it helps to really get the shampoo evenly distributed over the back of the scalp. Whereas I find when I'm just using my hands, I'm not as thorough with the scalp cleansing. This also helps keep the shampoo lather more focused close to the scalp as opposed to the strands. This is especially helpful if you have dandruff for distributing the anti-dandruff shampoo. So anti-dandruff shampoos is a reminder, you wanna lather them to the scalp and let that lather sit on there for a few minutes before rinsing it off. And a lot of people, you know, they misuse anti-dandruff shampoos, they end up trying to, you know, use it on the hair strands, but you wanna focus it on the scalp. And this tool really helps with that. And it also helps cut down on you needing to touch shampoo with your fingers, which for somebody who is dealing with hand dermatitis, that extra contact, that extra direct contact with shampoo, it can be just a little bit too much. So this is nice in that regard as well, is that it just kind of cuts down on the finger contact with shampoo and instead you're just using this tool to get it over the scalp. This is a product that is a holy grail hair care product for me and I think anybody, especially people who have longer hair, I think would really enjoy. It is the Biolage Hydrosource Conditioning Balm. This is, I think, an Amazon bestseller. It's one that I have repurchased over and over again because it works so well. It has a really nice scent. So if you're allergic to fragrance or you're, whoever you're giving this to, let's be honest, a lot of times we buy these gifts for ourselves. Anyway. If, whoever you're buying this for, if they're allergic to fragrance or they don't like fragrance in their hair care products, this would not be for them. But it is very rich. And so the purpose of this is to really coat the strands. That's what conditioner does. It coats the strands. But this is a lot more comprehensive in the coating because it is thicker. And the way I use this is after I use a uh, clarifying shampoo or an anti-dandruff shampoo, this can be a little drying on the strands. So I come in with this afterwards and let it really sit on the strands to really help neutralize that charge that otherwise would leave the hair unmanageable and prone to breakage and tangling. I keep saying you, but if the person you're giving this to heat styles their hair or color treats their hair, this is amazing. It's seriously one of the best hair masks I've ever used. This nine and a half ounce tube is $21. This is a great gift for somebody, especially with longer hair. Also in the realm of hair care, I've had these for going on two years now. I learned about them from Lisa, Lisa D1 on YouTube, who I rather enjoy. And these are hair claw clamps. And they are really strong. They hold, they don't flop out of your hair. If you have long hair, highly recommend these. They get the hair up out of your face and they stay in place. But, um, you know, they're really popular, especially on TikTok, but they're definitely worth it. Pack of, I think, four for $10 but they last forever. I'm a long time claw clamp user. I mean, for decades we're talking and claw clamps, inevitably the claws, this part starts to break off. These have held up so well. And also another thing that can happen with claw clamps is this hinge start the apparatus sometimes the little spring gives out and shoots out across the room. Have you ever had that happen? Or like you open it a little bit too wide? Not these, these are really sturdy. So highly recommend those. I think uh, if I remember correctly, you get four or five. I have five of them. I think they all came in the same pack. Uh, there's a mauve one, a black one, 
a green one and more of a peach one. Arguably, they are the best claw clamps I've ever used. And I have heavy hair. When my hair was longer, these were, these were the, the best uh, because they really hold that ponytail twist in place without it flopping around. The next thing that get for yourself and get one as a gift because they are that good. I was blown away by the quality of these. And it is these little notebooks. The brand is Paperage. They sell them in a variety of colors and they have an elastic waistband <laughs> to keep it closed. It also has a bookmark ribbon, but the quality of the paper in these is competitive with the Erin Condren planners. If you've ever used an Erin Condren planner, you know, you know the selling point with Erin Condren is all about the paper. The paper is what keeps customers hooked on Erin Condren, but these, this is the most competitive to Erin Condren paper quality I have come across. These are just some notes from a video, but it, this particular one is dot grid. Paper quality is amazing. So the front of the notebook has some lines that you can write, you know, your personal information, this book belongs to kind of thing. But in the back of the book, this is where it really is magical. You get this pocket. So you can put receipts and things in here. And it comes with, I never used these, but it comes with uh, adhesive labels. So you could put this in the book to mark things or whatever. So the notebooks are $9.95. That's, pretty, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, if you go to Target and get a notebook, you're definitely gonna spend like around $13 for the notebook, but the paper quality is just not as good as this. I was just in Home Goods perusing the notebook section. They didn't have anything there that was anywhere near as good quality in terms of the paper. Everybody likes to have a little notebook. They're really useful, jot down ideas. Even though we're in the digital age, notebooks are a very, still a very practical, well-used gift. Now, these I discovered this year. They're by the brand Memo Bottle, and that's really what they are. They are the same size as little notebooks. They're water bottles. This one is the size of an A5 notebook, and then this one is the size of an A6. They make them in a few different sizes, but I have two out here to show you guys. Love these. First of all, they don't leak, which is super important with a water bottle, but they lie, you know, they're flat. These are great for travel because they slide into your carry-on, but they don't bulk it up. So you can still slide it underneath the seat and not have the water bottle like being all awkward. They don't take up much space, especially this little A6 one. The other thing I like about these is that they will stand up on their own either this way or this way. So if you're like me and you like to chill your water in the fridge, uh, you know, I like filling up water bottles and just sticking them in my refrigerator and then having my water cold. These don't take up very much space in your refrigerator. So they're really a space saver. If you know somebody who lives in a you know small space, is a small apartment, can't make room for a lot of clutter, these are great water bottles. So they vary in price anywhere from $30 to under 20 depending on the size that you get. And this brand has a few different like accessories that you can get for them too. Like I think there's a little stand, but they do stand up by them on their own without a stand. Okay, next up is something that I swear by and it is the Popco silicone popper. This is only $13.49. I use this all the time. It is so easy. Once you start using this, you're never gonna go back to that horrible microwave popcorn with that bizarre residue. It's really easy to use. It doesn't burn the popcorn unless you put it in for too long. But the way to do it is to just put the number, the amount of kernels that you want in here. There's like a fill line depending on how many servings you want. And then put the lid on, stick it in your microwave and set the microwave to, depending on your microwave and its settings and all that. I, I put it in, I set the microwave for like four or five minutes. I listen very carefully and when like there are more than seven seconds between a pop, it's you know pretty much done. So it does a beautiful job popping popcorn without burning it. This is a fantastic gift for pretty much anyone. Another good option too for somebody who lives in a small apartment or dorm room and maybe all they have is a microwave. They don't have a stove top to be doing at, at home popcorn, but they, they like popcorn and instead of them buying those expensive microwave popcorn bags that have the, that weird chemical stuff in 
in it. I'm not a chemophobe at all. I'm not afraid of chemically food additives whatsoever, but that residue in those popcorn bags has always freaked me out. Uh, yeah, you can, you know, no longer have to use that. If you like having salty snacks at night, this is gonna save you a lot of money because popcorn kernels are pretty inexpensive to get. I buy mine on iHerb, but you can get them at the grocery store and they're so much cheaper and you get a ton, like, you'd be surprised, like a few tablespoons of popcorn kernels, it's gonna fill up this entire, entire thing pretty much. And it's very filling snack. And the other thing I was gonna share with you guys that goes along with this, if you like salt and vinegar, or the, sorry, the person you're giving the gift to likes salt and vinegar, definitely check out this Chef's Fun Foods salt and vinegar salt. This is so good. Like it's so good, sometimes I take a little bit on my hand and lick it off because I like salty things and I love salt and vinegar, but this is really good on the popcorn. This is what I have as my snack every night. Popcorn with this on it and it's delicious. Be careful though with this um, because if you rely on the holes here, you're gonna end up dumping too much salt out and it's gonna overkill. Instead, just take the lid off and use use like a teaspoon or however much salt you want, measure it out and sprinkle it on because this is just gonna dump out way too much. It's very hard to get the right amount out, but it is really good. This brand also makes a few other flavors. Some of them have dairy. This one is dairy free, but they do have some that are like ranch flavored. So you can get other flavors if you don't like salt and vinegar, check them out. Very flavorful, very good. Okay, and the last thing is seriously the 2022 best Amazon purchase in my mind for me. I bought it over the summer and it makes a fantastic gift. It's the Sorry, electric kettle. Now this is the pricier gift. It's $69.99, $70, which honestly is not too bad for an electric kettle, but this one I love. It has a gooseneck. So it's really nice for somebody who likes to do like pour over coffee. I use it for my French press coffee to make sure that I get all the grounds before I swish them around. But it's amazing because it has five preset temperatures, one for green tea, one for white tea, one for oolong tea, uh, a coffee setting and just a plain boil setting. So five different temperatures and it has a keep warm setting. So once it comes to the temperature you want, it beeps and if you have pressed the keep the hold temperature button, it'll keep it right at that temperature. It'll boil up to 0.85 quarts and it takes roughly one to five minutes depending on how much liquid you have in there. And as a side note, Kosari as a brand, amazing. I have had many Kosari items. As a matter of fact, my um, multi cooker, it's kind of like an Instapot, but it's a Kosari brand. 10 out of 10. Uh, they don't make the model I have anymore, but I've had it for like going on five years now. Yeah, five years. I've had over five years actually. And I use it pretty much daily. Kosari is a good brand on Amazon for sure. And this kettle, I love it. They've really stepped up the design aspect, the design elements of their items. Mine is a matte black finish, but I think they also have just a stainless steel look too, if that's that's what you think the person would like. So it's great if you drink coffee, it's great if you drink tea, but it's also really handy for making oats. Uh, quick cook oats where you need to have boiling water to add. And again, another great option for somebody who lives in a really tiny apartment, maybe a dorm, and they don't have a stove top. Speaking of beverage drinking, this is my last recommendation. And I've really gotten into these this year, these double wall glass mugs. I'm really picky about my mugs, as you guys may have figured out from watching my videos. And these I love because I really like the, uh, I really like being able to see the contents of the tea. I think it just kicks it up to another level. And if you're into making lattes and that sort of thing, it really looks pretty in this and you can have a whole new appreciation for your beverage. But these really are sturdy. Keep the liquid hot. And speaking of making oats, they're also nice to make oats in if you wanna do that. Uh, like quick cook oats, the oatmeal packet in there, add the hot water, swish it around, wait a few minutes and you're good to go. Easy breezy. All right, y'all, that's the 2022 Amazon holiday gift guide. Hopefully everything in this video was useful to you and you've got some good ideas. These are things that I use regularly. Let me know in the comments though, have you started your holiday shopping, your gift shopping? I always procrastinate, but don't put too much pressure on yourself. And my hope is that this guide was useful to you all. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.